me, Hardies! It's Saturday night! I am so extremely excited tonight because we are watching another one of my all-time favorite movies. If you guys remember, a couple weeks ago I had you vote on whether you wanted to watch Teen Wolf or The Pirates of the Caribbean. You guys chose Teen Wolf, but I couldn't let it go, and so many other people wanted to watch so tonight, we are watching The Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes! I love this movie so much, guys. Now, this is my favorite one right here, The Curse of the Black Pearl. You guys can watch whichever one you want, or you can even have an entire pirate marathon. As for our snack tonight, we are doing things a little bit different. We are going to make an awesome treasure chest snack holder for all our awesome snacks that we are going to go out to the store, to several stores, to find. I'm talking about gold doubloons, some kind of candy that looks like diamonds and pearls, maybe candy necklaces, maybe Hershey Kisses, maybe some of those Hershey gold nugget bars. They look like little gold nuggets and then they have the whole bars. Anything that we can find that will go nicely in our awesome pirate treasure chest snack holder. So put on your pirate vest and join me on the Black Pearl as we make this an awesome Saturday night snack in a movie. Follow me, you land lovers! Who's ready to arr? All right, guys, we're gonna go into Party City here because they have a lot of bulk candy, and I kinda wanna just look and see what they have that would look like jewels, pearls. Okay, look at this. They do have a ton of fake coins, although I think these are actually green for St. Patrick's Day. Now, here's gold coins, $4 for a whole bunch of them, but I want candy coins, actually. Okay, so right off the bat, here's something you could use. These white sixlets. These actually look like pearls. Holy crap, look, guys. You could make black pearl necklaces with black sixlets. Although I don't think you could actually run a string through those, like put a needle through without breaking the candy. But here are big white gumballs that would serve the same purpose. You could make a big uh, pearl necklace out of those. I wish they had black ones. Okay guys, so these are not actually like pirate doubloons. These are Harry Potter coins, but they have them. Now those are huge. Let's see, we also have ginormous ones here. We have pennies. We have little ones. This would be cool. And then we have bags of like chocolate bars that are like 20 and $50 bills. Now here's candy necklaces. This would work. You could have this hanging out of the pirate chest. Okay, here we go, guys. Look at this. We have bags of coins here. Now these are all multicolored. I mean, that would work. Look at this. We have pink coins. It's like pink half dollars. What is this? Is this orange or gold? That kind of looks green. We have blue, light blue. Hmm. Another kind of uh, blue, purple. Uh, and right here, we have silver and gold. These are $12 a bag. Oh, and look at this, guys, right in front of me. Like I just said, black gumballs. So you could make black pearl necklaces out of these. So here's all the bulk candy here. And I noticed on the other side, they have bulk coins. Look at this, 10 for a dollar. That would be perfect instead of buying one gigantic bag. Here's more chocolate coins. These are a dollar, and it looks like there might be 10 in there, and these are all different sizes. So here's candy that's individually wrapped in, like, shiny wrapping. You could use those for your diamonds and jewels. Oh, crap. We even have legit pirate confetti cannons. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at this. We have giant letters in case you wanted to spell something for your pirate party, or you could just buy one giant R. 
there. Oh, look at this, guys. We have a bunch of awesome movie night stuff here. Look, this one says, says concessions, and there's a bunch of different concession signs. Uh, oh, sweet. A snack tray for a drink and popcorn. That is really cool. How many's in there? There's 10 of them in there for 11 bucks. That is awesome. Look, they have an awesome movie night. Enjoy the show tray. That is really cool. I should get that and put it on top of the little fridge. All right, guys, so they always have lots of hats at this store, including pirate hats. Look, there's a captain hat. And then here's just a basic pirate hat right here for five bucks. Oh, look at this, guys. They even have the medallion necklaces. Look, they have regular black eye patches, and then they have skull eye patches, skull bandanas. They have hook hands. They even have telescopes and a parrot that goes on your shoulder. Pirate swords and facial hair. And pirate costumes for everyone. I'm getting way too excited in here. Okay, I got a couple of things in there. I want to go over to the five below over there. Okay, yeah, they always have tons of different kinds of candy in here. Here's rock candy. This is kind of like diamonds on a stick. They also have the chocolate coins in here as well. Anything silver or gold will work so really if you wanted to get a giant Hershey kiss to put in there or even some of these Ferrero Rochers it'd be like gold nuggets oh yeah look at this guys pirates booty popcorn aged white cheddar oh yeah we're getting some of that look they also have cheddar blast but I like the one with the bigger logo on it so here's the individual candy here these are ten for a dollar these are three for a dollar you could actually use anything in place of like jewels now these zots if you unwrap them these are like a hard candy so those could kind of pass as jewels you could even use now and laters oh here's these painters mouth coloring uh bubble gum that's cool we got silver hershey kisses here razzles little gum pieces oh yes this is what i'm talking about right here guys butter rum lifesavers we gotta work some rum in there for the pirate party oh man i ain't trying to spend a ton of money why do they have to have cool things like foam glider planes that are shaped like sharks and pickle chalk so i still want to go to the dollar tree but i definitely want to check out the party place first look they have like a uh, pirate do-rag here <laughs> that you don't actually have to tie on oh they have more party cannons and look they even have the black pearls i want to see what kind of candy they have though and that is in this department here oh yeah here we go Here's another bag of gumballs. They have the white, they have black. I mean, they have all kinds of colors here. And they're cheaper than the other store because it's a smaller bag. So this is eight ounces. This would be plenty to make a gumball pearl necklace with, and it's only $4. I would much prefer them to be this size though, the smaller ones, but I'm just afraid if you tried to take a needle and thread, and thread it through those. It wouldn't work because it's just a solid ball of chocolate. Holy crap, look at this ginormous Swedish fish. <laughs> they have lots of Pez, but I don't see any pirate Pez. The closest thing to a pirate Pez that I see is SpongeBob. Here's a giant candy necklace. That might be cool. And here's small candy bracelets. These are only 25 cents each. This is all like party favors over here. I don't really see any pirate stuff. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. Look at this. It's pirate eye patches. They're tiny little eye patches. They're only 34 cents each. Holy crap. Wait a minute. I spy a giant pirate chest right up here that's bigger than anything i want we're actually going to make our own but if you were going to decorate your room with a pirate theme you could get something like that and here's a whole bunch of gold coins this is 16 bucks there's a ton of them in here 400 gold coins in there and here's a bag of rings fake rings with emeralds and diamonds and rubies what in the world is a mushy poopster i'm almost afraid to touch this it's a poop it's a mushy poop. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I can't even. Let's get back to looking at the candy. They also have the rock crystal candy here, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of what could be used for like gems, diamonds, and rubies, and emeralds. All right, I got a couple of things in there. We're gonna head over to the Dollar Tree, and then we will call it a day. Dollar Tree? 
Dollar Tree does whatever a Dollar Tree does. Wait a minute, there's a golden duck right there. Holy crap. <laughs> really, all that candy and everything I just got at the other stores you could get right here at the Dollar Tree. Maybe not the exact same stuff, but look, here's coins. A dollar for 30. They're not chocolate coins, but I'd almost be willing to bet that they have chocolate coins in here. See, here's even more. Not chocolate but they're still coins. And let's just see if they happen to have any kind of pirate toys in here. Holy crap, it may be the only pirate thing in here, but look, they have a 3D art pirate ship that you build. That is pretty amazing, actually. If you're only gonna find one cool pirate toy in the Dollar Tree, this is the coolest thing to find. I do want a piece of black poster board. Oh, and look at this. If you're looking for jewels to decorate with, there they are. Look, there's even ropes here, and shells, and sand. Oh my gosh, you could do so much cool pirate stuff here. Yeah, they got a whole aisle of candy here you could fill your treasure chest with. And I know I'm being a very bad influence right now. It doesn't have to be candy. It could be healthy stuff, like corn nuts. <laughs> I actually don't know how healthy corn nuts are, but I'm just saying. Oh, how perfect is this, guys? Chips Ahoy for our treasure chest. And look at this, they even have small bags of Pirate's Booty Cheddar Blast. It's always so much fun being out looking for your snacks. Look, you can even get Weiler's Island Punch. Look, we have peel and stick wallpaper sheets that look like planks. Perfect for our treasure chest. Okay guys, here we are, <laughs> back at the house and we are ready to start making a craft. Now, obviously, I have an eye patch, I have an earring, I have this thingy, and I have a pirate's hat. But maybe you don't have that stuff. Maybe you need to know how to make a pirate's hat. Well, I'm gonna show you right now, but not with only one eye. Whew. Okay, that is much better. Holy crap, it's so strange to have that thing on my eye and only be able to see out of one eye. Maybe it would cause me to read the map wrong with my one eye. <laughs> As you know, in the Dollar Tree, we bought a sheet of black poster paper. Now, this is probably gonna be a pretty dang big hat, but here's how you make a pirate hat if you don't have one at home. You can even use newspaper to do this if you want to. Let's flip this over this way. We're gonna fold it in half one time Crease it, turn it around so the opening is on the bottom. Then we're going to fold it in half another time and just mark the top here. Don't crease it all the way down. Just mark the top so you know where the middle is. Because the next thing we're gonna do is fold this over right at the middle on each side. So, right there. And we are gonna crease it like that. Then we're gonna take the other side and fold it over right next to that, making the two edges meet here and we're gonna crease that one. So now you have the opening at the bottom. You have this folded over, making a point. Then we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna flip these up on the bottom and crease that on one side, flip it over. I hope this isn't too difficult to see because it's black paper. Crease that one. And now you have this, it kind of looks like a sailboat. You have these folded up on the ends and you can simply open it like this. Now, if you want to, you can take some tape, some clear tape, or I have like black duct tape here, and you can tape these ends closed, but you really don't have to. There is one thing though that is missing from this. We need a Jolly Roger. And if you don't know what a Jolly Roger is, it is a skull and bones, like you see on all the pirate ships' flags. We're gonna have to go to our computer, print it off the internet just on regular white paper, and then we'll cut it out and we'll tape it on there. You know what guys, I actually changed my mind. I like to do these things in a way that you all can follow along. And several times I've said, just go to your computer and print it out, but maybe not everybody has a printer. So this is just as easy. We are going to draw a skull and crossbones on white paper cut it out and tape it on there. That way you don't have to print anything out. It is super simple to draw a skull. It doesn't have to look good. That's a pretty big hat there. So we're gonna draw a skull like this. That's how it looks so far. We're just gonna give it some teeth like this, three lines across. We're gonna give it a couple eyes, color them in. Maybe the eyes need to be a little bigger than that. Yeah, there we go, there's the eyes. 
And there's the nose. So there's the skull. Easy peasy. Then we're going to make a couple of crossbones. Here's a couple of bones. We're going to cut this stuff out individually. And then we're going to stick it on the head. The craziest thing about this is my wife is upstairs wondering what I'm doing down here. And I'm drawing pictures and making pirate hats. What the heck? <laughs> there's a skull. There's one of the bones. And there's bone number two. Now, I don't have any glue, but I do have double-sided tape. So, that's what we're going to use. Put our Jolly Roger on our hat. First goes the bones. There's the bones. Now, the skull. Oh, this is a rad idea. <laughs> There we go. There's our Jolly Roger on our pirate hat. Let's get rid of this one. How weird does that look? Then you just open it up and put it on. That's a ginormous pirate hat. Arr! <laughs> That's hilarious, man. So, like, depending on how big your head is, and I got a pretty small head. <laughs> I don't even know what I look like in this yet. I won't know until I edit this video, but I bet it's pretty dang crazy. <laughs> like I got a giant boat on my head or something. Anyway, so if you have a smaller head, you might want to cut yours a little bit smaller because this thing feels like it's enormous. <sighs> Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is build our treasure chest snack box. Should I just keep this hat on the whole time? All right, you guys tell me. Vote in the comments. Tell me which hat looks better. This one that I made myself for what, a buck 25? Or this one which I bought at the store for five dollars. You guys tell me which one you like best. Whew, this one's a lot cooler. This one's like wearing a big blanket on my head. Here's what we got. We have a little box. Now this is about the perfect size box for the base of our treasure chest. This is about, I don't know, six inches by probably 12 inches. Then we have a couple of random pieces of cardboard to make the top of our treasure chest. We also have some duct tape. I have black duct tape. And then I also have regular like you know silver gray duct tape which if you need duct tape for this i actually got this at the dollar tree i don't think i showed it but you know dollar 25 for a roll of silver duct tape the last thing we have are all these sheets of what looks like wood plank and this is sticky paper peel and stick paper and i also picked this up at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 a sheet i got six sheets because I just wasn't sure how many sheets it was going to take to cover our awesome treasure chest. But we're going to find out. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take this box here and I'm going to cut it down a little smaller. Because, like I said, this is going to be the base. It's going to sit like this. And I only want it to be about this high. I'm going to use my razor here. And I'm going to cut off one of these flaps. And then I'm going to use this to mark it all the way around the box so that I know I'm cutting the same height all the way around the box. Then we're just gonna cut that. And there we go. And that is the bottom of our treasure chest right there. And that's what's actually gonna hold our snacks. So then we're gonna take one of our extra pieces and we're gonna just draw the shape of what we want the side of our treasure chest to look like. And usually a treasure chest is just kind of an arch on the sides. I'm gonna mark the width of the box right there. Let's go about this high right here. So I'm just gonna freehand half an arch there, turn it around and freehand another half of the arch. So that's about right. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I'll kind of even it up and then we'll cut it out. But we need two of those sides. So I'm gonna cut this one out first, then I'm gonna trace it and cut that one out. There we go. That way we have two of them that are the exact same size. One for each side of our treasure chest. Now the last thing we need is another piece of cardboard that's gonna form the top. We're gonna take our other piece here and you see how it has ridges? That makes it very easy to fold it over the top. So the first thing we wanna do is mark the width of it. 
We got that marked all the way down. Now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna start bending it on the edge of the table. Can you see how that makes it bend like that? That's how it's gonna go over this easily. See what I mean? And you can use one of these, set it on there and roll it out and mark it where you need to cut this. That way you know you have the perfect size. Bend that up a little bit so that it'll roll around it easier. Now, we need to cover all this stuff with our wood planks to make it look like a real treasure chest. So we'll start with the box here. Hmm. I want it to cover the front and I want it to fold over onto the inside. So we really only need two of these. So we can cut this in half. All right. All right, now we gotta stick this on there. See how that works? All right, there we go, that's looking good. Now let's cover this top next. This one should be easier. I'm gonna take some of my extra pieces and put them on the inside too. When we have the chest open, you'll see wood on the inside too instead of cardboard. Okay. You cut it around the edges like that so that it'll fold easier on the curve. And now we have both sides covered. We're gonna put this together with these on each side and then we're gonna connect it to the back of this. I think I'm gonna use the silver tape. Then I'm gonna take one of these right here, hold it up, and then we're just gonna roll it and tape it along as we go around along the edge there. So you see where we come up on the edge. Here we go, hold that little bit of extra over on the inside, and there's one side. Now that doesn't look the best, but we'll make it look better in a minute. The point right now is just to get these sides on there and get the thing built. Put that right in there, make sure the edges match up. We're making a treasure chest, baby. Arr! <laughs> All right, there we go, it's coming together. See, it's starting to look like a treasure chest. Before we attach it, let's do the corners of this. There's one, two. Now before we attach the top to the bottom, let's fix this. Take small pieces and put it on there and make it look much better. You see how that rounds it out better there? Very nice. Now we wanna put a piece across here and a piece across here. Looking good. Now we need to attach this to this and it will complete our treasure chest. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty dang cool. I think I'm gonna put a piece of tape in here too, just to make that seam a little stronger. There is our treasure chest, guys. It seems like it needs something else, though. Do we need a skull and crossbones on there? We're not quite done yet. I'm gonna be experimenting here a little bit.
Here we go. That's a little better, guys. We got our lock on the front. We got our rings for carrying on the sides. We need what looks like some bolts around the edges. So, hold on. Okay, guys, I have to do it one last thing because it just doesn't look right to me. We have to put a skull and bones right on the front. All right, there we go. We're finally done. Now it is time to fill our treasure chest with all our pirate booty. Arr! I maimed and pillaged ye landlubbers for this. Okay, so let's take a look at what all we got to fill our pirate's treasure chest. The first thing I'm gonna put in here, guys, is one of my favorite things we picked up, and that's the pirate's booty white cheddar popcorn. How cool is that? We're gonna put that one right there. All right, let's see. We also got a candy necklace. We got two sticks of the diamonds. <laughs> Diamond rock candy. We got two rolls of the butter rum lifesavers. You can't be a pirate without the rum. We got a bag of ye pearls. I didn't get the black ones though. I just got the white pearls. I wanted the black pearls, but all they had was the gigantic gumballs, and I didn't really want to get those. So, so we got a bag of ye white pearls. Oh, I forgot about this one, guys. We got the Chips Ahoy cookies. <laughs> Let's put those right here. Right there will do where you can see the Chips Ahoy. We got three bags of gold coins. Gold doubloons. And I almost forgot about this one, guys. We got the Wyler's Island Punch to wash it all down with. And what this is, is actually there are 10 in here and these are single little powder tubes that you mix with a bottle of water. We'll take the label off of there. Mmm, smells pretty good. And you pour it in. Careful not to spill. Shake it up and you got your Island Punch. We'll put that in there too. Stick some bags in here to take up a little bit of space, kind of like Easter grass. We got our lifesavers, our diamonds on a stick. We got our candy necklace. We got our gold doubloons. This is awesome. This is like the best treat basket I ever made. Our white pearls. Let's just take a handful and sprinkle them in. Maybe a few more. I lost a pearl. These are delicious too. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. <laughs> an awesome pirate hat and an awesome pirate treasure chest full of delicious pirate booty swindled from the land lovers just in time to kick back and watch the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It is time to set sail on the Black Pearl. So grab the Pirates of the Caribbean and our treasure chest full of booty. I'm going to kick back and watch this movie, and I will see you guys next Saturday. <laughs>